Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I'm going to be talking about the transition from sysadmin to developer and to give some advice on this. So this question, I don't have a name, oh, it's from Amir, and Amir says, Hi John, I enjoy your content on YouTube and appreciate your willingness to share your experiences and thoughts with others. Do you have any, do you have any advice for sysadmins looking to transition to developer role? I've been a sysadmin for 12 years and I'm currently in a senior role making a competitive salary. <laughs> However, my passion for the role has waned and I no longer find it enjoyable. By the same token, my passion for coding and building solutions to business problems has grown. My sysadmin career has introduced me to different programming languages and I can confidently state that I am a strong PHP and Perl developer. I'm currently doing some side PHP work for a startup in my free time, but it hasn't given me the amount of work I was hoping for. I created a coding blog to market myself to potential employers and also revamp my resume to highlight my development work. I've been scanning the job postings in my area, Pittsburgh, but most of them are looking for Java or C-sharp talent. I'm thinking about taking some classes in one of those languages to get up to speed, but wanted to get your opinion first. I don't want to go into 20 different directions and end up wasting my time. Thanks and have a good week, Amir. So Amir, you seem like a very intelligent man there, that you've just the way that you've gone about your career and, and, and phrased this. I, I can see what, what, you're, what you're worried about here. So here's what I would say. So actually, it's kind of, I think now's the better time to transition from sysadmin to developer, and the easier time than there has been historically. And the, the big reason for this is because of DevOps. So if you don't know what DevOps is, I'm sure you do, but for those listening that don't, DevOps is sort of this, this role that system admin has become where it's kind of system admin and development and IT and operations all kind of rolled in together. As we've started doing more agile development in the software development world, we've needed more developers capable of understanding deployment and how the IT infrastructure works and we've needed more IT infrastructure people and system admins and stuff like that that understand development process and how the life cycle works and deployment and all of these things and writing code to automate some of this stuff and to work with build servers and all this. So this I think is a good branch, a good splitting point, a good jumping stone, whatever it is, in order for you to go from sysadmin to development without trying to you know directly jump that gap. And you might be able to, you know, maybe you, you want to just directly jump into, and in which case you, you can try that. Having the PHP experience should definitely help you and you should be able to pick up a language like C Sharp or Java. I don't think that'll be much of a problem for you, but not having experience in it might be difficult to get a job. So what I would say is that you want to look for DevOps jobs. Try looking for DevOps jobs that maybe are in C Sharp or Java environments if you want to learn those languages. And just you know, get into one of those roles where, and, and even at your current job, you can start doing more DevOps type of stuff. I, I think sysadmin is is kind of a dying breed anyway. Not that I, you know, I love sysadmins; they're they're awesome. But I think that more and more sysadmins are having to take up programming anyway and become DevOps. Really, in, in reality, I think that that role is is disappearing, just like manual testing is disappearing. And it's not disappearing; it's morphing into something else. So I would highly encourage you to look into DevOps. <laughs> See if you can get a job in DevOps, see if you can transition your current job to be more of DevOps, and in that DevOps role, sort of make sure that you get to do some more coding, right? Automate the build system, write scripts for that, that's gonna be skills that you're already used to, but also start working with the developers more and see if you can negotiate something. When you get into the job, I think if you're in a DevOps position and you're writing a lot of code and you're a capable coder, it's gonna be a lot easier to make that transition and say, hey, can I just work on the development team or can I have some development tasks? I'd also like to do some development and that's, that's a lot easier of a transition. Now, I could be wrong, but this is what I suspect. I've never actually made this transition this way before. If you're watching this video and you have some advice, if you've actually made this transition or if you're in DevOps or you think this is a good idea or not, I would definitely like to hear your input here because I'm, I'm curious on this myself. Go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the subscribe button and you'll get two to three videos a day. I do a lot of videos, it's true, but uh, I do it for you. 
So I'll talk to you next time. Take care.